We want to determine what type of symmetry each graph has, if any. So there's three different types of symmetries. There's x-axis symmetry, there's y-axis symmetry, and there's origin symmetry. For the first graph, I want to check first to see if it has x-axis symmetry. That means that the x-axis would be a fold line. So if I fold this over the x-axis, the graph has nothing to lay on top of it. If it if I fold it over and it lays perfectly on top of itself, then that's when I know it has that kind of symmetry. Because it doesn't overlap anything, it does not have x-axis symmetry. What about the y-axis? The y-axis would be the fold line in this case. If you fold that over, again, it does not lay on top of itself, does not have that symmetry either. The last thing I'm going to look for is origin symmetry. And origin symmetry, I'm looking for if I've got the same thing in opposite quadrants. Now, in this case, I don't. So because of that reason, it's not going to have origin symmetry either. I don't have the same thing in opposite quadrants. So therefore, this one has none. There's no type of symmetry that this one has. This next one, okay, I want to check for x-axis symmetry. It means I'm going to fold the graph over this direction. Now if I fold this part over, this part will end up looking like this down below, so it does not overlap, does not have x-axis symmetry. Y-axis, if I fold it over, this direction, again, this part will end up down below here. It's not going to have that symmetry either. Now for origin symmetry, I notice that I have this and this are appearing in opposite quadrants. They're like a mirror image of each other, just like this line and that line are mirror images. So that's going to tell me that it does have origin symmetry. The next one, if I fold it over the the y-axis, it will not overlap. However, it will overlap if I fold it over this way. So in this case, the x-axis would be a fold line. And so I know for sure that it will have x-axis symmetry. It will not have origin symmetry though because, again, this piece and this piece do not match up. I don't have the opposite thing or a mirror image in both quadrants like I had for that one. So therefore, it only has x-axis symmetry. Now the last one is a circle. Now circles you can fold down this way or this way or diagonally. So therefore, that's actually going to have all three symmetries. It has x-axis symmetry, it has y-axis symmetry, and it has origin symmetry. So this one's actually going to have all three different types of symmetries.